Requiem of the Rose King, episode 19. A little bit of aftermath from their uh, their stay in that uh, that 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 cottage sorts. Biglang pinisita si Bucking I Main. Well, hindi ba exactly na pinisita? He thought of as a as a home invasion. So sinabi niya kay Richard, "Oh, dito ka muna. Ako ako titingin doon." Ito yung napagkamalan nating si si Henry the Sixth uh, during the last episode. His well, his name is his actual name is James Tyrrell. Ang nagpangalan sa kanya yung mga kumuk kumukup sa kanya mga shepherd. Yung talaga trabaho niya. And what? Yeah. Buckingham showed um, um, showed him on his merry way promising uh, he's going to he's going to uh, he's going to grant James his wish. I don't know what that wish is. But anyway, so balik na sila sa palace. While Catesby was training him, si Prince Edward, um, hindi maka, hindi maka focus, dahil nababagabag yung kanyang loob sa, sa mga narinig niyang ugong-ugong sa, sa banquet nung gabing yun. Uh, people were saying na hindi raw siya anak ni, anak ni Richard, which is true. And, uh, the worst one of them all and the worst rumor of them all the same rumor that plagued Richard during during his childhood anak daw ng demonyo siya narinig lahat ito ni ni, ni King Richard ang kanyang tatay-tatayan and well in his own way assured Edward na oh, no no my son you're not that okay? so, of course ina, so, so niyakap niya ng may bit yung bata of course, okay? like any like any father would do. Pero, well, eto mga narinig niya sa sa anak anak niya that well, it it meant only one thing. His past has come to haunt him. Pinatawag niya kagad si Buckingham. Okay, we all know his real name is Henry Stafford. So, usap sila ni Buckingham. Eh, uh, sabi nila ni Buckingham. We need to cut the we need to cut the uh, the source of these rumors, Your Majesty. Well, he's got a point. Every rumor has its source. Agree naman din si Richard. Ngayon, si Richard ni Baking, uh, pinayuan siya ni Baking na, well, Your Majesty, you and the Queen need to bear a child as soon as possible. Ganon. Doon na sinabi ni Richard kung ano talaga ang origin ni Prince Richard uh, ni, ni Prince Edward Prince Edward is actually the grandson of King Henry VI kalaban nila well Buckingham was shocked at what uh, what Richard revealed to him eh sabi nila niya aba Lancaster pala ang bata niya well, Edward's Edward's sons might have been better bakit mo bakit mo kinukupkup Bakit mo parang kinukup-kup yung batang yan? Eh, anak pala ng kalaban natin yan. Well, he, Buckingham, even insisted that Richard disown him. Eh, sabi naman ni Richard, well, ikaw nga ni Richard, eh, walang kamangmang naman ng batang to eh. Alright? So, he is still my son. Alright? He is the son of my wife. Eh, well, Nagpaalam na lang si Buckingham and, uh, to, and promising to, to remedy the situation. Pero while he was walking away, yeah, talagang he felt um, he felt betrayed kasi this was a secret that Richard kept from him. And now, on Richard's side naman, eh, medyo dalo na babagabag na ng loob niya dahil he kept another secret from Buckingham. So, up until that night's banquet, talagang, he, Richard was racking her brain 
as to how Buckingham is thinking right now. Eh ngayon, bigla na siyang uh, umalis sa, sa Bible area at nagtanong nga si Annie, Uy, sa ka pupunta? Eh, sinabi na lang ni Richard, uh, to basically, he needs some air. Ayun nga ginawa niya. Pumunta siya sa, sa palace, sa palace garden, one of, one of the palace's gardens, and I was thinking, ano ba ito? Ano ba itong, um, is Buckingham, has, have I, be, have I, If I violated Buckingham's trust, will will he still will he still be my retainer? Parang ganun ng uh, ganun yung takbo ng isip niya at that point. Eh. Final scene. We now focus the the episode now focuses its attention on the Tower of London. Kung saan nakakulong yung dalawa niyang pamangkin, including the illegitimate king si Edward V. Biglang uh, Siyempre, like, uh, medyo, medyo away ba tayong dalawa? Then, uh, suddenly, bumukas yung pinto ng kwarto nila. And someone said, I'm here to save you. Tapos may nung nagpakita ng mukha, nung mukha ng jester. But, yung tone of voice and yung manner of speaking, it's unmistakably Henry Tudor. Oh, mukhang magkakasik na naman ng lagim ito. That was one intriguing episode. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Patreon, Vigo, mga lifestyle. We're gonna break that episode down now. Criticism style. Pace! In summary, I got no complaints about the pacing. Yup. Again, the Shakespearean feels. The, um... The political intrigue has intensified, definitely. Kasi medyo... Slow. Pero naging tense yung pacing dahil, uh, dahil sa pag-uusap nila, nila Richard at Buckingham. Eh. Kasi yun nga, dun lang uh, isiniwalat ng hari yung kanyang huling sikreto. Which Buckingham felt betrayed. Flo naman. First year shift here was when Prince Edward uh, opened up to, to Richard about Uh, about those uh, those rumors that he heard during the banquet. What made me deem it as a gear shift is this one. Richard realized in that scene na his past has come to haunt him. Kasi yung uh, yung panlalait na na-experience niya nung bata siya Nararanasan ngayon ng kanyang anak-anakan. So, if you were the viewer, you would tell Richard this in this gear shift. Richard, you've been through this. Come on. Give your best advice to, your, um, to that child you now call your son. It's the best you can do as... Well, Prince Edward truly sees Richard as his father. Second gear ship was of course the conversation scene between Buckingham and Richard wherein yep, Buckingham felt betrayed by this secret. No brainer there guys because <clears throat> if you ask me this gear ship has already set us up for the road to the finale. Tandaan nyo, episode 19 na. Next week, it's episode 20. Umpisa na ang, ang huling limang episodes ng anime na to. It's the road to the finale. So, I see this gear ship as um, the final setup for the road to the finale. Mukhang Buckingham's not going to trust the king anymore because of this secret. And well, If you would look at the history books, mukhang ganito nga um, ganito nga sa ganitong paraan nga nasira yung pagkakaibigan nila ni King Richard at ng Duke of Buckingham. Third and final gear ship is the final scene. Historically, yep, the, Ch- the Tudors were uh, have been a Tudor has been seated at the throne of England before. Pero, enough of that. This gear, 
this final gear shift okay, proved to me that yes, Henry Tudor is now the villain of this anime. So these three gear shifts that I saw, I'm sure you guessed it. The second one will play a role definitely in the final five episodes of this anime. Plot wise. The number of explainer sequences in this episode will tell you this. Malini some plot, bigo Patreon, maka lifestyle. Because for a storyline as deep as this anime's, kailangan mo talaga ng ganito karaming explainer sequence para lalong maintindihan ng viewer kung ano ang pinagdaraanan ng bawat character. Especially si Buckingham. Kasi there's something bugging him to um to to uh, to give him to give him what he wants. At kamukhang kamukha pa nito si Henry the Sixth. Well, we if you've seen that episode we're in uh well we all know what happened to Henry the Sixth. Pinatay siya ni, ni Richard. Si Richard pa mismo ang pumatay dito. So Wow. Right. That's the biggest complication right there in the in the plot. This James Tyrell character is bugging the Duke of Buckingham to give him what he wants. And the biggest complication here is that he bears a striking resemblance to the late King Henry VI. Kalaban na mga York. <laughs> so talagang yeah, you through the through this clean plot, you would find that of uh, that turn of events scary. So, well, Buckingham better get himself out of that hole and find a way to um to remedy the situ remedy the situation regarding Henry Tudor. Imong, well, Henry Tudor is working, uh, working right, working from right under their noses. So, wala nakakaalam kung, tala, kung ano talaga ang plano nito. Basta, pinakita na lang ang sin na mukhang ginugoyo niya ang kambal. He wants to use the twins to get to, to, get to the throne. So, wow. This is... Talagang, all the plot will make you realize these things. Okay? Because a clean plot has enough room for you to deep dive into an episode. Kaya nga, I love episodes with clean plots kasi I get to, yeah, I get to formulate conspiracy theories. I get to, um, <clears throat> I get to basically dissect an episode. Yun ang yun. So, pace, flow, and plot, I almost didn't tell the, uh, the, the pacing from the plot. Mukhang munti ko nang, munti ko nang haluin yung dalawa dahil, ano eh, it had a slow but tense pacing. So tense that I, that I uh, almost deemed the, the explainer sequences as backstories, as side stories. <laughs> ganong kalalim, right? Ganong, ka, ganong katindi ang, ang pacing at plot ng episode na to. So, Requiem of the Rose King, episode 19. No brainer. Tudoza. Well, hindi ko na patatagalin to, guys, kasi lobat na to cellphone ko eh. So, my power tip for you guys is this. Wait for next week and start watching Requiem of the Rose King as it ends. Dahil road to the finale na po tayo. The the political intrigue, the um the the, the plot twists the gear shifts mapapadami dito sa final 5 episodes ito kaya tutukan nyo na lang so again Requiem of the Rose King episode 19 2 thumbs up another 2 thumbs up for this anime mga ka lifestyle wow can't wait for the road to the finale to start so Vigo and Patreon wait for my next upload regarding this anime and for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD kami bakala na kayo sa buhay nyo 
Papanoodin ko na lang kayo mag-chill-chill. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.